state your name for the record, and you'll have two minutes. Uh, thanks. My name is Greg Alexander. Um, man, what a great discussion. Thank you. I'm so excited to see you all looking at intersections. Um, I've got some intersections for you. Madison and 17th, College and Dodds, Walnut and Kirkwood, Rogers and Hayes. That's 2021. That's fatal crashes on city managed streets in 2021. Last year we had a fatal crash at the intersection of Rogers and Hayes and another at Walnut and Kirkwood, a death at College and Dodds, and another at Madison and 17th. That's three blocks from my house. That's what we're talking about, right? We're talking about safety. That's what safety means. Safety is what those people didn't have when their body was mangled by glass and steel. Those four people didn't receive proactive safety when they were using public infrastructure at those four intersections. Another thing those locations have in common, none of them are in Elm Heights. Uh, even though in 2020 there were two deaths at the northwest corner of Elm Heights. Uh, we desperately, desperately need proactive safety. Um, heck, we need reactive safety. Some of these intersections are, are repeat offenders. Um, we need them to feel like they have, or uh, we need our engineers to take this pattern of death seriously. We need them to feel like they have a public mandate to take bold and effective actions. The thing is, our engineers are trying to do something really difficult. They need the benefit of this council's guidance. They have an enormous responsibility to react to the bloodshed in our street. They need a lot more support from you than they're getting. And instead, you're letting one neighborhood micromanage them. They're trying to do important work, and now they're wasting this time with this remedial lesson in politics. Thanks to this council's work, now they know, valuable insight, Elm Heights is more important than the rest of the city. Is that knowledge really going to help them stop the carnage? Thank you. Thank you. Do we have anyone on Zoom? 